If you've ever listened to your rap voice and thought, w w wait a second, is that me? Well, stick around, this video is for you because we're going to fix that. I'm not going to give you a vocal transplant in this video, it's just a video, but I will show you how to sound like the best version of you. Call me Manny, and in this video, we're looking at what makes a killer rap voice. And also stick around until the end because I'm going to give you free exercises that will take your rap voice to the next level. So what actually makes a good rap voice? Well, when you're new to improving your rap voice, there's two main points you need to focus on and just these points alone will help you improve your rap voice. The first one is clarity. Let's face it, if no one can understand your lyrics, they're not gonna hit. Things that make your clarity shit, that get in the way of your clarity, are mumbling, keeping your voice monotone, so not really varying the pitch and also not emphasizing certain words. The best way to fix this is to work on your diction, which is your ability to articulate and pronounce certain words. So if you've got a lazy way of pronouncing and articulating your words, consciously focus on over pronouncing things and really moving your mouth and really saying every last letter or every last syllable perfectly and you should start to improve your diction. The second thing that makes a really, really good rap voice is tone. Now, tone is like a secret weapon, right? Why? Because it influences the way your message comes across. For example, it can make your voice sound friendly, it can make it sound angry, make it sound harsh or soft and calm, inviting, all these things. However, you want to come across, tone's the main factor. It also influences the pitch of your voice, so high, low, the volume of your voice, loud, soft, and the intensity of your voice, so warm or harsh. To truly understand how important tone is for a good rap voice, think of your voice as your paintbrush to your listener's imagination. You control the colours, the pictures they see, and how you paint those pictures and those colours is through the tone of your voice, like I said. This is an amazing weapon if you know how to utilise it because it's not just about spitting bars, it's about making the listener feel those bars. That's why certain songs that are technically crap, the, the bars are weak, you think the flow is not all that, but the song is still a hit. Get there because the rapper, or if it's not a rap song, lead singer, made the listener feel something. He was able to convey words in a way that triggered an emotion in the listener and the track was a hit. This is not always the case because you do get other rappers that keep a normal monotone voice and their, their tracks are still a hit, but for a lot of people, if their personality don't come out, if the tone is flat, then the lyrics tend to be flat as well. So let the tone carry the emotion of your words. So those are the two main things you need to focus on as a beginner. But because I like you, I'm going to give you a few more bonus things that will really, really touch upon your rap voice and really polish it, help you sound like the best version of you. The first one, the first bonus is breath control, right? You don't want to sound like you've just finished running a marathon in the middle of a verse. That's not going to help your rap voice at all. The best way to do this, to, to control your uh, breath, is to breathe from your diaphragm and this keeps, helps you keep a steady tone and stops you from straining your voice so that you can say your words with power, confidence and with the right tone, manipulate the pitch, all that stuff. It all starts with proper breathing. So the easiest way to breathe as you rap is to add it in as you're writing. Indicate where you're going to breathe by putting a little B in brackets after like every two bars or so, maybe every three. And when you breathe in, you're breathing through the nose. And as you exhale, or the mouth, you know, you're rapping. So breathing through the mouth real quick. But the most important thing is you say your words on the exhale, the way that I just did there. So you breathe in, and then you say, you, you spit your bar on the exhale. Now, as you can tell, my voice sounds a lot more fuller, a lot more louder. The tone is a lot deeper, a lot lower. And that's just because I'm talking on the exhale. And this just keeps things simple for you and also improves the quality of your rap voice. The second bonus tip would be confidence. Now confidence is tricky because it's not really a technique. It's more like the way you feel and you project yourself, right? But confidence is really, really important because confidence projects power. So rap like you own that mic. As you know, if you have a timid voice, then your tone will suffer. And we spoke about how important tone is in conveying the emotions that you want in the listener's mind and, improve, and improving your rap delivery. So you don't want your tone to suffer. Whereas a strong voice will allow your words to land with more impact. And other side effects of being confident are better posture. So you actually naturally stand a lot more tall, allowing you to rap proud. And also because you're rapping proud, you're saying your words with conviction, your clarity and diction are naturally better. And also this 
makes you your listeners believe the words that you're saying also because you're rapping with conviction so that all ties in and if you really want to keep it interesting this is bonus tip number three if you really want to keep it interesting switch up the pace at which you're spitting your bars the pace of your flow so at some points rap fast if you can do a mid-tempo flow then a slower flow vary your pitch not to an annoying degree but maybe a little bit here and there change your voice a little bit and don't be afraid to press the pause button all this means is adding pauses maybe once every eight bars once every four this also help you transition into the next flow if you're mix and match in the tempo of your flow and i like to call this swimming where you're experimenting with different flows different cadences on the beat one part of the beat you're flowing fast the other part you're flowing slow and uh, this bonus tip is vocal variety right and you can oh, imagine how this keeps the listener hanging on to every word that you say and keeps them a lot more engaged because it obviously makes your rap voice a lot more dynamic right and uh, you can do this when switching on to different beats so for each beat you attack it with a new flow a new pitch of voice or you can do this on the same beat to create more contrast and now those three exercises that i promised i'll give you the first one pretty simple it's the pen in mouth technique so you literally stick a pen in your mouth and you try to spit a 16 bar verse over a beat while this pen is still in your mouth and you notice the difference with this one trust me it works as soon as you take the pen out and you spit the same 16 bar verse you notice it sounds a lot more clearer it's a lot more easy to say and you're not tripping up over any words your delivery is a lot more in your control your rap voice is a lot more in control this helps with your diction your clarity obviously because you're having to talk with something in your mouth using those jaw muscles that you don't normally use those muscles that you don't normally access in normal speech it helps with your breath control because you're having to breathe through the nose you've got something in your mouth which helps you keep a steady tone all in one exercise the next exercise is a classic but it works every time this is tongue twisters twist your tongue around phrases to improve your diction this will really help if you want to rap fast but still want to be understood when you do so tongue twisters are great for that they're also great for your diction and your clarity great for training you to wrap your head around complex sentences that would normally trip you up if you had to say them quick and also the last and the last exercise is to practice with the emphasis of clarity in mind so let's say you're practicing your fast flow you want to get so clear that even someone who doesn't regularly listen to rap can still understand what you're saying as you would want them to if you was having a normal conversation with them so even if you're rapping fast no matter how fast you're rapping gotta make sure that grandma can still understand you right if you practice with that in mind and really enunciate your words work on your clarity work on your tone of voice consciously as you're practicing your verse your bars over a beat your rap voice will improve and the key remember of doing this is really just to emphasize the keywords just make sure they can understand the keywords the words that will convey the emotion that you want to convey there you have it that's all the exercises i've got from this video my call to action for you is to practice just go and practice these things because your rap voice is not going to get better overnight or better by watching the video so just go practice if you're still here thank you very much for watching till the end if you're a subscriber also a big thank you to you i truly truly appreciate it you give me the motivation to keep going and you keep the channel alive so thank you for that if you're a beginner looking to take the skills to the next level a lot faster i've got a course that will give you all the things that you need to implement without any of the fluff just the good stuff and the link for that is in the description of this video so click that and i'll see you there with all that being said i'll see you in the next video peace